Alright guys, uh, yesterday I was talking a lot about this show that I like called The Twilight Zone. And let's just take a look at it. I um, watched and rated most of the episodes. And I'm just sharing my screen so you guys can take a look. So yeah, The Twilight Zone, an updated version of the classic anthology series featuring various tales of science fiction, mystery, and horror. So overall it's got a 5.8 out of 10, which is not good by any means. Usually with like horror or sci-fi, anything around a 6 is good on IMDb. But this has a lot of fake 10-star reviews, because people just see the 1-star reviews, and they're like, well, I thought this show was like a 6, but I'm going to give it a 10 to offset all the 1-stars. It's like, that's not how it works. You're supposed to just show your opinion. So you guys can see this uh, blue thing here. That's actually my rating, a 1 out of 10. Although individual episodes, I did score higher. But overall, it's just trash. So let's look at the episodes. So I love IMDb, just because I like to read about things and reviews and things like that. So all episodes, oh, I'm in the gym right now, so that's why I'm kind of sweating and walking. All right, so The Comedian. It's got this guy, this Indian guy that's been in a few things. Let's see, what's his name? Kumal Nanjiani. And it just wasn't very good. Basically, uh, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. <sighs> Basically, uh, you become a comedian and you give a part of yourself and then the audience will love you. It's basically just a monkey paw type thing. Like, his life looks better, but then overall it's not. And it's just predictable, and it's been done a thousand times before. And, yeah. So I gave that one a 3 out of 10. Just because, like, you can't really give a 1 for most things. Because there's at least, like, good cinematography or, like, decent acting. But I think the story overall is most important. I don't care how good the acting is or, like, the um, filming or technology behind it. If the story is not good, it's just not good, period. All right, here's a classic one. Uh, this is a remake of Terror at 20,000 Feet with uh, William Shatner, the classic one where there's like that monster on the wing of the airplane. You've seen that before, I'm sure. Anyways, this one was good. I gave it a 7 out of 10. I'd probably give it a higher score now. I'm always critical. So yeah, um, this one, Nightmare at 30,000 Feet, was really good. And it's got this guy, I call him a Discount Tom Cruise. Basically, a TV version of Tom Cruise, Adam Scott. And it was good. Um, the mystery was nice, and it was a modernized version, so people are able to pay attention. Because like, I often try to like show older shows to people, and they just can't pay attention because it's like black and white or something. And that's understandable, but it's also a shame. So yeah, this one was a 7 out of 10. The ending was crap, though, so that's why it's only a 7. It was like the ending, like, oh, wow, we all survived a plane crash, and now we're just going to beat you to death. It's like, what? But it was creepy, and it was good, so watch it. All right, um, next one, replay. All right, this is where you're all going to call me a skinhead, white, racist, Donald Trump supporter. All right, Lou, the one with black people, you gave a one out of, one out of ten. No. It's because it was, like, stupid and pandering and just, like, actually racist. So this girl has like a, this mom has like a camcorder, like one of those old school recorders. Um, and when she rewinds it, it actually rewinds time. Again, that's been done before and done better. And no matter what she does, this cop keeps shooting and killing her son. Because like black people can't even go to the supermarket without getting shot. Every time someone, all right, 90, literally 99% of the time, the police have to shoot someone. They have extensive criminal record backgrounds, you know, criminals, bad people, and they're doing something that warrants getting shot. Like, yeah, he was unarmed, but he was charging at the officer and he was 300 pounds. Oh, he was 17. It's like, dude, he's 300 pounds. There's huge 17-year-olds. Trayvon Martin was beating the shit out of that um, Mexican guy, Zimmerman, and everyone thought he was a white guy. That's why he got so much attention in the first place, George Zimmerman and Trayvon Martin. Anyways, no matter what this lady does, her kid keeps getting shot by the police. Like, oh, there was this one part where they're like at a hotel and the cop comes. He's like, hey, you're being really noisy. You gotta turn down that noise. And then he asked for an ID. The most racist thing in the world is to ask someone for an ID so you know who the hell they are and if they have any warrants. I've been asked for ID and I'm a white guy. Anyways, like, then at the end, they have to like go in a secret underground railroad to go to the college, which is an all black college, which, pretty racist. And then, I don't know, it's just stupid. It's not good. The ending is pretty nice, though. Like, what happens with the camcorder? Uh, I'm not going to spoil this, so go watch it. Alright, uh, A Traveler. I didn't rate that one. Uh, this was before I really knew about Steven Yoon, because I don't watch The Walking Dead. It's stupid. 
And this one was good and creepy. It was like a classic episode in the sense that there were like three or four divergent paths that could have been going on. Like, oh, is it Russians? Oh, nuclear what? Oh, is it aliens? So this one was great, and it's like this small prison uh, jail in Alaska. And it's, it's cool. Go watch this one. Steven Yoon is a great guy. All right, I might as well rate it. Um, seven, because the ending is pretty bad. <sighs> All right. Um, the, wonder the Wonder Kind. This was literally just making fun of Donald Trump. And it was an overall good episode. Basically, like, this YouTuber becomes, a, becomes the president. But he's a kid, so his mom runs. But then everyone knows he's actually doing everything. And the ending is good. It's creepy. It's dystopian. It was nice. See, just because you're making fun of a politician I don't like, I mean, a politician I like, doesn't mean I can't enjoy the episode. So I would give that one like a 6 or 7 out of 10. All right. Uh, six Degrees of Freedom. I don't even remember that one, so I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, not All Men. That's the garbage I was telling you about earlier. There's like these meteorites crashing down to Earth, and then guys like get really big and veiny and like red monster eyes and start abusing women, like beating them or like sexually assaulting them. All right, my machine just beeped. But then the twist at the end, because it's Twilight Zone, there has to be a twist, is that, oh, the meteorites weren't actually doing anything. It was just men, and it was like a placebo effect. It's like, but really, they were veiny and strong and had glowing red eyes, so I don't believe you. And like, I don't abuse women. I never have. I've been abused by women, like literally. This Chinese girl I used to date was like beating the crap out of me while I was driving and the car behind us like called the police and then I could have sent her to jail and I was like, that'd be a dick move, plus she's like foreign. I don't want her to have to call her parents from America to China in jail asking to get bail out. So I was like, whatever. But no, I mean, it was stupid just because, yes, there was something physically happening. If a meteorite from space comes down and changes my mind and I abuse women, that's not because I'm a bad guy, it's because it's a magic space rock. You can see the poor rating anyways. Uh, point of Origin, I give a five, just because it was good, but it was woke. I mean, it was like talking about immigration, basically dreamers, like people that were brought here illegally by parents as a child, like a three-year-old getting brought here from Mexico. He's like, oh, I don't speak Spanish, I've never been to Mexico, but oh, you're not an American, so you have to go back. But I don't know anything about the culture, blah, 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 blah. It's like, well, your parents are abusing you, bringing you across the desert, and most people that get brought across the border are sexually assaulted by the coyotes anyway, so you're a bad parent. So I give that one a five, just because it was like only one-sided. Like, when you talk about controversial ideas, you're supposed to explore both elements. Like, well, they were bad parents and they were breaking the law, but, you know, they've been here their whole life, so there's like a moral gray zone. Like, the woke ideology doesn't present a moral gray zone. They only have one side. So five out of five, and you can see it kind of matches the rating. Uh, Blue Scorpion was good. Um, basically, there's this gun, and he has to kill someone named Jeff. And of course, everyone he runs into is named Jeff. So it's like, who's he going to kill? It was pretty good. And Blurry Man was basically them copying Black Mirror, which is a far better show. Black Mirror, no S, Mirror. It's like a British Twilight Zone type thing. And it was just their season finale, like lots of Easter eggs, breaking the fourth wall stuff. And it just wasn't good, so I give it a one out of 10. All right, uh, season two, like I said, is much better. Take a look, uh, eight, nine, six, two, six, one, one, seven, nine, one. All right, so let's talk about these. Uh, all right, uh, Meet in the Middle. It has this actor who I like, um, what's his name? Jimmy Simpson, and it was pretty cool. Like, it was a great Twilight Zone episode in the sense that you don't really know what was going on. There was a mystery, and there was a great twist. And yeah, eight out of 10 for that one. I'm not gonna spoil the good ones. All right, uh, Downtime, you can see it's kind of like rated lower by other people, but I appreciated it more. I give it a nine. Um, downtime, what was that about? Oh yeah, yeah, so. Basically, like, people are, like, in a video game, and this person's avatar, the person, like, had a heart attack um, and died in the real life, so the avatar now is, like, unable to return to the real world because the body is dead. So they just stay there. And there was something romantic about it that made me kind of, like, emotional, and I liked it. Like, 
loving someone even though you're a different person. So I like that one a lot. Uh, the Who of Us was good, but it was just kind of a standard like action-y, kind of like Hollywood-feeling movie. So I couldn't rate it too high because it just didn't fit the general Twilight Zone feel. The Who of You, this guy can like change bodies with people, and he's just like, if he makes eye contact, he switches bodies. And it was like good, it was mysterious and nice. The ending was kind of messed up. He ended up becoming the person that his girlfriend was cheating on him with. So he got to like be more handsome, didn't get in trouble, and robbed a bank, and still had his cheating girlfriend. But that's like a weird thing, like, oh, my girlfriend loves me, but I'm the guy that she was cheating on me with, so what the hell? It's like Peter Parker and Spider-Man, like, oh man, she really likes me, but oh wait, I'm Spider-Man, so. I ovation, what is that? Oh, that one was just bad. All right, um, basically, monkey paw. So she gets some magic charm that makes her super famous, but like, oh no, it's bad to be super famous and my life is shitty. So again, like anything that's been done a thousand times, I'm not gonna rate highly. And did I write a review? No, I did not. So basically it was just really boring. It could have been like a 12 minute video and it might've been better, but it should not be 40 plus minutes. Oh, all right. Among the Untrodden. That one, I surprised I rated it a six. Basically, like, this girl goes to a girl's school and, like, maybe she's a witch or maybe someone else is a witch. And it's pretty creepy, but, like, the acting is kind of cringy. Oh, that's probably why I gave it a low score, bad acting. Um, then the ending was nice, but it was overall decent. And this girl is really pretty, Abby Hearn. Yeah. Whenever I see a girl that's not Asian that I think is pretty, I make a note of it because that's not very often. I'm mostly attracted to Asian girls. All right, um, six, oh my God, this one was terrible. This one was bad and it was super short. It could have been longer and it would have been better. This one sh is rare in the sense that if it were longer, it would have been better. So basically an octopus like learns how to use a computer and changes their genes and then they become octopus people and destroy the world. I'm not even joking, that's how stupid it was. Again, if it were longer, it might have been better. But it was literally like um, the sci-fi channel, like crappy movie you see at three in the morning. There was nothing intelligent about it at all. all right, a human face, well, one out of 10. Oh, that one was just really bad all over the place. Like there's an alien. And you're noticing a recurring theme with Twilight Zone, modern one, everyone's an alien all the time. Anyways, uh, this alien, like it's beyond retarded. This alien like possesses the consciousness of their daughter who overdosed on pills and then like makes them come with them to another planet. It was really stupid. Oh, this one was decent, kind of basic, but uh, this guy, his wife was like mayor of a small town and she died. And he's like living in the attic of a church and he sees like a little uh, model of the town. And whatever he does to the model, it changes in real life to the town. So like he starts like fixing potholes and painting buildings and stuff. And then everyone thinks it's like the new mayor, the guy that replaced his wife, and he's like pissed off. So it's kind of like, oh, is he gonna go dark? Is he gonna destroy the town? Like what's he gonna do? So it was good, I like that one a lot. Uh, all right. Uh, Try Try was really good. It's got um, Topher Grace which is not a name. Is that like short for Christopher? Anyways, I never liked this guy. He's from that 70s show and Spider-Man 3. I just never like guys that don't look different than when they were 14. It's like, you are you have the same muscle mass as when you were 14 and you're like a dorky little small person. Like, just try to be a man. Anyways, Topher Grace was in it. See, you can see I don't like him, but I like the episode. And this girl was really pretty as well, uh, Kylie Bunbury. All right. So this one's really cool. It's basically, after five minutes of watching it, you realize it's Groundhog's Day. And I was about to like, you know, just quit caring because Groundhog's Day has been done so many times. But it was a nice twist on Groundhog's Day. And it was pretty cool and creepy. And the message was good. It was like definitely a feminist message, but they did it in a way that wasn't annoying or pandering. So I can actually enjoy that kind of uh, ideology. Basically at the end she kicks his ass and then he quits stalking her. And I was like, yeah, that's a nice message. If someone's bullying you, like, stand up to them and they'll usually stop. So I enjoyed that one a lot. This one was good. It was kind of creepy, too. 
All right, try, try. And uh, this one, you can see the terrible rating from others. The white rating there, 4.5, and I give it a one. I could not watch it. Like, I wasn't even playing with my phone or anything. I, it could not keep my attention on the screen for like more than five seconds. Then at the end, you just see a bunch of aliens destroying the earth. I was like, what was this even about? Just a really crap episode. All right, um, I'm gonna quit the video because it's quite long already. But yeah, Twilight Zone was really good. Uh, what other shows have I reviewed? Because I kind of like this because it lets you know like what you've seen and like how good it was. So you can like go back and watch them or you can recommend them to friends or something like that. All right, ratings. Apparently I've rated 213 things, wow. All right, let's rate. I love the um, sorting tool. Sort by your rating, low to high. Um, yeah, these are all my one stars. Borat, the new Borat, which is not funny and also um, overly political. Black Box, I don't even remember what that was about. In Time, what? Wait, I gave that an eight. One second. All right, guys, let's just end the video there. I don't want to make it too long and boring. All right, um, comment below, and I'll make sure to get back to you. And the weather is still kind of rainy and just not sunny yet. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.